Hey everyone, Lens when I was here, back with another Mod Colonies episode. Shield's around here somewhere. He was just standing here. Howdy, howdy. He <laughs> was just standing here, he disappeared. Oh, he's over here somewhere. Uh, I believe today you're, you, well, you've, you were just telling me that you've, you've got some extra food production being started out here because the village keeps running out of food. Yeah, the villagers are starving just a little bit. Yeah, that'll be alright. Did you say we've got 150 odd now? So, 153, I believe. That's just a couple of people, and hence why there's there's lag everywhere. Um, yeah. Uh, the research is now done. So the research that we had last episode, uh, well, that I started in the last episode for the uh, the new Manacraft stuff, that's now done. I think we have one lot of research left in that series. And then in that modded area, which is an Ars Magica, Magica one, uh, which I still need to wrap my head around. And then all of that bit's done. And we just need to move on to the, the full-on creative things. Uh, so this episode, I thought we would touch off on the last few items that we have requested in the mailbox. Uh, I think you said you were going to move New Manacraft. Yeah, um, you out behind. You'll see where I'm setting up. Yeah, I can see you if in the in the distance there. Um, so move all this new Manacraft stuff to maybe spread some of the love in terms of terms of lag around. <laughs> Might be handy. <laughs> Just a little. And and Shields also built the immersive engineering or immersive petroleum coker over here. That's that's enormous. Like. It, it, the the models that they've they've done with this mod have always been fantastic, but this thing is enormous. I, I yeah, <laughs> and I'm I'm scared at the fact that we need to build this in the other mod pack too. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. Auto crafting would be great. Don't have any of that yet. You no, know, I think it's like I think there's like ninety six steel frames. Oh, just a couple. Considering I'm getting all my steel from bees in that pack. Anyway. Uh, cool. So let's have a look at the requests that I already have. I think they're just about to hand one in. I think the turtle one may already be here. Um, yes, it is. So they've already made the turtle. There it is there. Uh, CC tweaked, computer craft or whatever it was called originally. Uh, and the mechanical harvester from Create is here. I have no idea about this thing. Let's hold W to ponder it. Okay. They will. Wow. <laughs> I love the little animations that they put that the Create team built um, with the ponder button. Pretty much, it's it's a great little uh, great little thing. It's uh, an impressive um, impressive device they've got here. I'll put this uh, harvester back in the chest for uh, for your chilled, and then let's have a look. They are waiting for. Uh, let's build the programmer because that will help with drones. I don't know whether drones are going to be a thing for us. I doubt that. <laughs> um, I need a couple of turbine rotors. Turbine. Are these guys? I mean, it's cool and all, but yeah, I, th I think it's probably just unnecessary. Put them. What else do they need? They're going to deliver them. I need a printed circuit board and two plastic sheets. So one, two. I can have them. Let's get some oops, some emeralds, and I'll go and visit our. Trader. I don't think it was this one. Couple of printed circuit boards. And they need one. Nice. Okay, so that should be all the items they need for that one. Yep, they're just going to get delivered to the mechanic, so obviously tomorrow when it's daytime, I guess. 
Uh, and the other one, Aerial Interface from Pneumaticraft Repressurized. I don't know what the Aerial Interface does. Me neither. They need two advanced pressure pipes and then four pressure chamber walls. So pressure... Chamber wall. We might even have some of this. Let's search properly. Yes, they need four of these. Uh, these two pipes. Two pipes, four walls. They're in there. And then Nether Star. Now you're not sure if we have any in here, and I may have to go and fight a wither. Nope, we've got four in the system. I don't have to fight it with her. Cool. <laughs> Copy out, aren't I? Not that it would be much anyway, because you built that lifty little, uh, yeah, you're little cage area. The weather. And uh, the armor I'm wearing is pretty decent. Now that we realize that uh, fire arrows are damaging to it, and that's about it. We're all uh, good yeah, after that. Fire arrows are ridiculous. All right. As if the wave after wave after wave isn't enough, you know? <laughs> no, no, that's perfectly fine. 18 million people that attack each of eight days or whatever it is. There you go. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so I'm just waiting for them to deliver some of these materials now that all the, all the couriers are running around. Couriers will be delivering this stuff to the mechanic and then hopefully... He'll build what I want, or what I've asked for, and it'll get delivered back. And then I need to um, <coughs> look into Ars Magica and work out the things. Um, let's go over to the university and have a quick squiz. Say good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, been many, many a year since I touched any sort of magic mod. Not, not a fan. Um, which is really funny, and I, I think I've said it before. It's, it's funny that the first series I ever played on YouTube was a magic pack. Um, so here, here's me who doesn't do a lot of magic mods in Minecraft. I'm very much more the tech person. And my entire first series was a magic pack. Blood magic and all sorts of stuff. Batania and... Sorry, Batania's a tech mod. I don't want to get into it. <laughs> Don't want to get in uh, trouble. 50. But yeah. I, my my first and the only one that I ever really got into deep was Thorncraft, the original. Yeah, this would have been this would have had Thorncraft as well, because I remember building a a a tower out of the you know, the whatever the wood is in Thorncraft, really nice dark wood. I remember building the tower out of that, so uh, I had mine all integrated with AE2. Oh boy. No, all automated. Automated Thomcraft in with AE2. Fun stuff. Mine probably was a little bit long ago <laughs> for me to think about what I actually ended up doing. I'd have to go back and look. Okay, so I need for this next this next thing. I need four glyph of blink and a casting wand. I don't know how to make either of those things. So let's see if we can poke around while we're waiting for them to deliver our last couple of items and see what it takes to make these items. So the casting wand, we'll start with that. It sounds probably like a, a smarter option. Maybe not. <laughs> oh gosh. I need. An enchanting apparatus from Ars Nouveau. And that's easy enough to make, I guess. Needs arcane stone. I mean, they can... Let me ask for any enchanting... Unless you've already made one. I don't want A. I, wow. I don't want 64. <laughs> I want one. And they don't have a recipe for it. That's cool. Even though it says there's a recipe for it. I wonder about the the whole... Some of these recipes and whether they have been programmed or not. 
I'm um, sure some of them have. Which button did I do? This one. That's a manager. That's a glyph press. Uh, I gotta be careful turning my um my little HUD back on. I don't want to look at a mechanism machine and lag myself out. All right, let's see if we can make these things. Dodging in between all these towers of stuff. It's good fun. All right, let's look at ours. Here we go. So I need an enchanting apparatus. Got one of them. And then the casting wand. Can't even see in this list because it's fun. Casting. We're going to need some wood. We're also going to need a couple of glyphs. A glyph of Accelerate, which is in a glyph press. Some marvellous clay and powered rail. Whatever marvellous clay is. Magic clay. Some of that. <laughs> I need one of them. And rail. Howard rail, I think it was. Yep. And casting. So that's for the glyph of accelerate. And then I need the glyph of projectile, which is a bow and some magic clay. Okay. A bow. Do I have one that isn't broken? Yes, I do. And some magic clay. And then... I still don't know how to do this yet, so this is going to be fun. I need two gold, some Ars Nouveau wood, and some mana gems. We got plenty of mana gems. Two gold. Wood. Plenty of that um, Ars Nouveau wood, too. Have you seen how much Ventium the village produced? No. Buttloads. <laughs> Let's have a look. They've got quite a few of uh, those gems too. Yeah, we got 39,500 Ventium ore and 38,000 mana gems. Yeah, I don't think we're ever going to run short of them. Ever. <laughs> All right, I probably need to do a little bit of research. Let's see if they've delivered either of my items. Yes, I have the programmer and the aerial interface. Uh, by using advanced technology, which compresses items so much they become small as atoms, this machine can use a player's inventory as its own. This means you can hop items in and out of this machine and they will be added or removed to the inventory of the player who placed the block. Interesting. There you go. That's what that aerial interface is for. Okay. It's a, a, a remote inventory. Okay, let's put these things away and then let me uh, try and work out what I'm doing. Uh, let's claim these last couple. Got some travel anchors if you want. Nah. I think we're all right. Got, got a couple now. No, things get a little wonky when I use those anymore. I think we've gotten too big. All right, yeah, we literally have one more, um, one more quest in this thing, which is the spell turret. So I just need to unlock that that thing. So let's put them away, and that, and that. And the travel anchors I don't need. All right. That's manor and artifice. Where is Okay, I need to look into Ars Nouveau. Is there a book for it? Worn notebook. Yes, cool. Probably have one of them somewhere. We'll check. Worn 
Not in there. Because I was pretty sure I had some spells around. Make another one soon. Yeah, I might just make a new book. It'll be right. Alright, so the worn worn notebook. Got no books. How do we not have any books? I'm always making books. Okay. Worn notebook. Oh my. Okay, so we need to work through some rituals and some enchanting and all sorts of stuff. Uh, spells. What else we got? So enchanting. How to enchant. Uh, jar of mana. So I need to work out how to get mana. I think we started looking at that. Mana condenser. Provides world mana to mana jars that are placed beneath it. And a condenser. Oh, okay. That was the thing I had in the. Um... Yeah, I can make that. Cool. Let's make one of them. Just need a hopper. Hello. Click the right button. Be fantastic. Oh, we're out of gunpowder? Surely not. Yes, I gotta go turn this. Turn it on for a minute. Should only need a minute too. <laughs> yeah. I think it's uh, super powered, that thing. Like I said, only turn one on at a time. <laughs> Incoming lag. All right. Okay, I think I've got a manager out. Ooh, hello. Get under the door would be smart. I think I had a mana chart out here, didn't I? Yes. So if I put a condenser on top. Uh, we just passed 3,000. 3,000 what? Gunpowder. Oh, just in that in a short amount of time? Yeah. Gone from nothing to lots. To 47, 48, 49, 50. 5,000. My yeah, gosh. Uh, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's craziness. Okay. I need an arcane core, apparently. Arcane core. Oof, that's pretty. And an enchanting apparatus. Nice. I don't know what I'm doing here at all. I'm just placing blocks now. Terrible. Terrible, but that's what I'm doing. Um, okay, so we've got the mana condenser. So we've got mana. Uh, let's look at the glyph press. To use a glyph press, first place your clay into the press and then use the reagent provided on the press. If there's enough mana nearby, the press will begin crafting. Okay. So it was magic clay and bow. So if I put clay and bow, it does not appear to be enough mana nearby. Got a jar here. Is that not, not close enough? Cool, let's move it closer. Maybe I need a, a jar actually out in the open. Put this here. Uh, that. And maybe I need a bunch of condensers or another way of getting mana. Okay, manager. Jar store world mana from nearby mana collectors, which is used in creating spells. Mana may be moved using a bucket or a jar can be picked up and moved. Use mana in a jar. Simply place the jar near your desired device. Okay. So 
So I kind of need this mana condenser needs to probably be near in world things happening. So plants growing, things dying, mobs, etc. So maybe this system needs to be near the mob farm. I don't know if that's a thing. Uh, possibly. That's kind of why I put the uh, the blood altar right next to it too. If we have to get that deep in, we can do the um, uh, ritual that automatically fills it up from the mob farm. Okay, so I'm going to bring these couple of items over near the mob farm. I know you just turned it on and off for a bit, but let me see if this will actually collect stuff in that area. Again, you know, I'm kind of winging it on camera here, which is fun. Either that or I find somewhere where we can just have mobs spawning and and then kill them. Um, I might just plop it down here. Maybe that's close enough. You might have to turn the mob uh, killer off. You used to have a door here too, didn't you? It's gone. Yeah, I kind of broke it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, manager, it's eight percent full apparently. Let's put this here, and then let's put condenser on top. I don't know what it's gonna do, but I also want. Come on then, mate. Hey, get back here. Maybe this uh, phantom will help fill my mana jar up. Come back. See, I don't know if you noticed, but I did put um, uh, gas in there. Yeah, I think I noticed. But it's kind of a pain in the butt because the space ain't quite big enough. It's understandable. Uh, let's put you here. Come on, Phantom. Come down here. That's it. No, no, don't fly into the bridge. That was daft. That's it. Come over here. Ah, oh, look at all that mana going there. <laughs> Alright, let's... I'll just turn on... Um, I don't know, Blaze for a second. Just want to see if it actually picks anything up when they die. Oh yeah, it does. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Um, the jar's filling really, really quickly. I can probably turn that off now. <laughs> I got mana. Um, okay, so it was magic clay. And then the bow. And yeah, it's definitely drawing enough. Look at that. It's a nifty little animation. Glyph of projectile done. This is a great spot to have it. Good. You probably hate it because it's in the middle of a walkway, but shush. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> this thing has a really decent range too. I, I popped one of those guys up in the sky and it it's still um still collected it. Oh, where is he? He's somewhere. Hello? Where'd you go, buddy? There you are. Okay, so there is a limit. Alright, so that's one of them. That's one of the glyphs. Let's put the marvellous clay. And the powered rail, I think it was. There we go. Uh, let's creep around for a second. I can literally just turn the switch on and off and it fills the jar almost. <laughs> okay, so in um Oh I got it. Good. Okay, so there's our two glyphs. So let's look now into the enchanting setup. Um enchanting apparatus. 
We're going to need pedestals. This thing's going to need to be spread out a little bit. So I've got an arcane core. That's good. I'm going to need some pedestals and then the enchanting apparatus. Okay, so let's look at chanting. How to enchant. Then I'm going to chant its items to the pedestals. There's a jar of mana nearby. Okay. So I'm going to move this guy. I'm going to put the arcane core. I mean, it's not, it's not great. It's all right. We'll work around it. So let's get some, how many pedestals do we need? If I'm making this wand, wand. Um, I'm assuming that I need nine pedestals. It's the only thing I can think of. Okay, cool. Pedestal. Made of arcane stone. What a shock. Um, warehouse is full again. <laughs> um, <laughs> Always. I'm going to order some more arcane stone. Maybe another 128 of it or so. Arcane stone. 28 request. There we go. That'll keep it going for a second. I'm going to need that before I can make any more pedestals. But seems relatively straightforward so far. I don't know whether I need to put these pedestals jam packed into it or whether there's a, a thing in here about the casting one. Let's have a look. Uh, getting started. Apparatus crafting, or casting. Let's have a look. To use the enchanting apparatus, place any number of arcane pedestals nearby with their items. Okay. Place a reagent item on the enchanting apparatus block. Okay. So yep, I'm just gonna wait for this um, this stone, and maybe I'll be able to get this wand. And then what was the other thing I needed? Glyphs of blink. I can probably make them now while I'm waiting. Uh, so if I type in blink, the glyph of blink is some mythical clay and an ender pearl. The mythical clay. Is marvelous clay, diamonds and blaze. Okay, so I need four of these. Two. Let's get all these things. I need two more of these. Two of them, and then the mythical clay. Okay, there's the four of them, and then four ender pearls. We've got 8.8 thousand, so I think I'm good. <laughs> Let me guess, we ran the uh, the spawner for a second. A hot second. <laughs> That'd be enough. 8,000. All right, let's make these glyphs. Should be able to do just what I was doing before, which is play first. End of pearl. It is very fancy. This one. Not enough mana. Uh, okay. Um, it's some end of. Oh, we are draining quite a bit of mana from this, so. Just run it. Nope, still not enough. There we go. There's enough now. 
turn that one off for a second. Uh, with the skellies, maybe. I've got enough. Stop. Stop now. <laughs> <laughs> and then my suit's trying to pick everything up. I... Well, those those are fully maxed out spawners. Yeah, yeah that uh, didn't take long at all. At all. What is that thing? Mark of the Council. No idea what that is. Not a clue. Mark of the Council is from Manor and Artifice, and it has no uses, apparently. I'm sure it does, but just not in this. Uh, so as soon as I get some more arcane stone, <laughs> it's great watching this manor just go boop. Uh, what is slime's going to do for me? That's a decent amount. Slimes might be a good option because it, um, you know, each part is a, you know, a death. That might be a good one to get the manor instead. Yeah, and they go nuts. So I'll probably use that from now. Let's uh, jump back to the base. And see if they've delivered my stone. Probably not because the warehouse is full, all right? Maybe. Nope, not happening. Because I still haven't delivered. It's all finished. It's just they need to deliver it to me. I wonder what. Put a chest of emeralds in here. Let me just sort the warehouse. That might help them a little. Probably didn't help that you had everything that open at the time. But what? Stuff disappeared. I've got some space. Here's my. Oh, that's Vintium. I was going to say, here's my icon too. No, it's Vintium or. Yep. Clear out all the floor, right? Villagers don't need that. Nope. All right, let's see. Did they deliver it? No. Deliver my stuff. I have had to cancel and reorder before. Oh, I'll go and get it from the mechanic if I need to. Or where it is. Stonemason. Uh, Stonemason over here, I think. Been a long time. Or if it's at this Stonemason. I think this is where I need to go. No, they picked it up if it was this stonemason. <laughs> I don't know which one it was in. Because we've got two, don't um, we? Yeah, we got the one that's right next to the road, and then the other one over by the gate is probably the one by the gate. Uh, which gate? Is this a stonemason? Um, next to the glass blower. You have a map at the glass blower. It's a stone smeltery. That's a stone yeah, smeltery. That's. What, no. what was you needing? Stone mason. So we've got oh, one here. Uh... We have too much stuff. It's too many people. Maybe they'll deliver it eventually. Maybe this will be a slightly longer episode, because it already is a slightly longer episode. And they'll deliver my stuff. Hey, they've delivered my stuff. Alright, let's make a couple more of these things. What did I have? Three? I need another six. Awesome. Let's try this. All I want to do is try making this wand. So we'll go a little bit longer than normal. I'm sure people won't worry that much. Ah, a couple minutes won't hurt. All right, let's place these things down. Not exactly sure where these need to go. So two, 
It's one of these. It's this. And is it four mana gems? And then do I place the wood in the middle? Ooh, yes. <laughs> that is what I do. All right, something's happening. Hey, a casting wand. That's decent. I didn't need the nine. I've just got the eight around the outside of the center pillar. And it looks like if you look for the recipe, the center block will be the one that goes in the middle. So this is our 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 thing. So I now have the two items required to get that last uh, university research started. So I'm going to duck over there now. And that will be a probably a good place to wrap up. Let's zip down in here. Hello, university. Modology. Ars Magic Turret. Click. There we go. That's the last of the modology research underway. And then we'll be able to get the turret. We'll be able to claim that one. And we'll be able to complete that page of the quest book. Uh, which will mean that we'll have finished first page, the second, the third, and then the fourth. And it only leaves the ultimate understanding page to go. Which in and itself is massive. Um, so all the creative items, creative upgrades and tanks, etc. And these all require research as well. So the creative items are under ultimate understanding. Let's have a quick look. Ultimate understanding here. So if I wanted the... I'll be pushing towards the uh, vending upgrade. Vending upgrade. Creative vending, second, okay. Yeah. Yep, that's a long one. <laughs> mm. Well, actually, you may already have the the eight plutonium pellets and sixty four uranium crystals, right? Yes, no. Uh, working on the crystals, but yes, yep. I have the plutonium. Yep, I figured you would. Oh, I haven't shown that. My bad. Really quickly. Okay. Let's duck down to the basement. <laughs> Real. And down the hole. Now you said it's down here? Yep, at the back. All right. So we have down here a fusion reactor running at some stupid amount of power or stupid amount of steam, I guess. Whatever it is, it's running. We um, yeah, it runs off uh, tritium and deuterium, and yeah, it's uh, basically just acting like a steam. No, this power in the <laughs> turbine. Oh, dead gum! The turbine is up there too. It's full. It's full of steam. Doesn't look like it's spinning in there either. And the induction matrix is full. We have 6.4 trillion forge energy, and there's only a couple of blocks in there. We could, what, fill this full of more blocks, right? Oh, yeah, we could fill this whole thing slap full of blocks. It's just requesting all the steel casings from the villagers. Meh. That'll take them a while. We have energy for days, basically. I, I don't oh, yeah. think we need to well, worry too much. We'll never run out. <laughs> so power's not an issue um materials aren't really an issue for us here it is literally just time um time and knowledge i guess is where we're at um that would be my phone i will need to go and get it so thanks everyone for watching comments down below thanks again chilled you're welcome everybody have a good evening i'll catch good you morning. next time bye now